Hey guys, my name is Mark from jazzguitarsons.net. Welcome to this video. Pretty simple. Today I want to cover a really quick thing, which is uh, a stage of my approach to replicate your process on different standards, and it's the second stage, which is how do we play jazz guitar voicings on standards. So pretty simple. Typically you would have picked a tune and looked at the different voicings out of time, just go, okay, those are the voicings I want to use. One per chord, ideally. And then in the second stage, what you want to do is play them in time. So just a few quick tips about that. Number one, you want to keep things very, very straightforward. And in the beginning, have absolutely just one chord voicing per chord symbol. I repeat that. You want to have one chord voicing per chord symbol, meaning if it says A minor seven, if it comes back around on autumn leaves, right, you want to play the same exact A minor seven. That's tip number one. Tip number two, Typically, it would be best to play the same rhythm over the entire form. If there is a bridge or a contrast, contrasting section, I will recommend that you do maybe a contrast in between these two. Namely, uh, right now, I will quickly demo how I would do it on Autumn Leaves, not too fast. And I will contrast on the, um, uh, um, call it the B section. So it's sort of A, A, B, C, right? Autumn Leaves, that's the form of it. So there's eight bars in the middle where I would alter it. And I'm gonna do that just with the metronome. And the next step before I do the demo will be simply to use a reliable source of time. People will get in uh, debates going, oh, the metronome is not good. I, I don't wanna develop metronomic feel. Uh, backing tracks are good, backing tracks are not good. And like, personally, I'm agnostic, I don't care. Uh, use any resource that has you play to the stand of time. If it's tapping your foot or counting, just be mindful that you're steady. Uh, because I have tapped my foot <laughs> on gigs and then I realize uh, once my foot is um, tired, then I slow down. So this is never good. So make sure you have a strong uh, beat. And now I will do a version on the autumn leaves, just comping, which would be my stage two with the voicings I previously selected. And I'll see you in the next video. One, two, a one, two, a three, four. <laughs> Very 